what is going on we are live live it's a saturday morning hope everybody is doing well i was trying to find a good place to set up so i could be outside not too loud hopefully the camera is straight it looks like brazil is well represented this morning uh, East Timor is is here. So the Portuguese speaking community is well represented. Mina might be here. She left a message very early. Is she here? She is here. How are you? I will get to your question in just a second. Eagles Fly from East Timor is here. I just learned that they speak Portuguese and East Timor. I know Portugal, Brazil, obviously, now East Timor, and Angola, Angola, Portuguese is spoken. Daniel, Daniel is here. If you look at the banner for the channel on mobile, and I think on the desktop, Daniel made a banner, which is looking pretty sweet, pretty tight, looking pretty lit, looking fire to use some vocabulary, some slang from yesterday's video. Looking good, looking good. Thank you, sir, thank you. And Daniel also added some Portuguese subtitles to a video. I believe it was um, when I'm going like this. Why do you hang this over my head? Rod is here, welcome. Naima, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Everything with Lilla is here. Welcome. Thank you for um, subscribing. We had a conversation yesterday. What did we, t I wanted to mention something you said. Now I can't remember. Sometimes when I get on camera, I forget. Henry says, howdy doody. Howdy doody. There was an old 1950s like kids show way before I was born called howdy doody. Sometimes we say howdy when we meet each other. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, in Texas, they might say howdy quite a bit. Yes, Lilla is here finally. And Eagles Fly is finally here. Some people have been asking, oh, when are you going live? And I do go, I try to go live five times a week. And the times, I can't always be consistent. They can't always be at the same time. So I try to go live a lot, but sometimes I'm busy. So, oh, Mary is here from Iran. Welcome, and Mary, thank you so much for adding Persian subtitles to one of the mini lessons with Hang, I think. I think it was Hang. Um, I'm going to start a playlist with all of the subtitled, um, foreign subtitled videos. So we have Brazilian Portuguese, Persian, and Italian. There are three videos in Italian, subtitles. And I did make a video, uh, I made a playlist. If you are an Italian speaker, or you're wanting to learn Italian, and Erroni did those, about an hour worth of video. Some long videos right there. So thank you everyone. Who has made subtitles, Daniel, or a banner? It's awesome. Thank you so much. Every day, bruh. Every day, bruh. Daniel is saying, bruh. We, yeah, we say that sometimes, bruh. Bruh. Kind of meaning bro, but try to be a little bit cooler when we say it. What's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? Mary, new people are here? I didn't see that. Brian is here. Wilson is here, Henry's here. Oh, Maria, Maria, maybe new. Welcome, if you are new, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. There's a little button down there. Instead of seeing my face, you now see a subscribe button. Dennis is here from Germany. Welcome, welcome. So let's get to some questions here. Amina has a great question. She's wondering, what does it mean, uh, a solid color? A solid color. That is another way to say it's all one color. 
For instance, most of my hat is a solid color. You know, I have a little bit of gold right here on the B, but it's mostly a solid color. This shirt is a solid color. I would call this maybe gray, gray. So solid color, often talking about the walls of a house maybe. Oh, they're a solid color, all one color. Clothing, it's a solid color. I hope that helps. And I like that Daniel put on the banner something about a channel that I hope that helps. Uh, that's my catchphrase. I, I gotta say that all the time now. Hope that helps. It's better than smacking my lips. I noticed that a couple days ago in the live chat. I, I, uh, bugs me. I'm gonna try not to do that. But I will keep saying, I hope that helps. Hope that helps. All right. Daniel is kind of sleepy. But Daniel, my man, in Brazil, it's not that late. I mean, it's not that early, is it? Is it 10 o'clock where you are from? 10 o'clock? I know some parts of Brazil are earlier than I am. Some parts are later. Brazil, big country. What, the fifth largest country? Whoops, the fifth, number five maybe? The fifth largest country in the world, I think, I think. All right, Naima is doing a little binge watching for English. It's always good. I did a little binge watching in Italian this morning. There's a guy, Mano is his name, Mano. He lives in the United States now, but he's from Italy and he has some great videos in Italian. Mega from India is here. Probably pretty late in India, right Mega? And of course, Lila is here. Amina is here. Yes, she's here. Uh, let's see. Maria is here. Daniel, Henry, Wilson. What is going on? Wilson, Ecuador, right? I always forget Ecuador, though, I think. Uh, Brian is asking, what was the first conversation about? Not much. I was just, I was just blabbing, blabbing. That's a good B-L-A-B-B. -B. Blabbing when you're just talking, but you're not saying much, blabbing. What I think I am going to do, let me know if this would be helpful. I have a playlist of all the live streams. I think there are 66 so far. That's a lot. And if I go live five times a week, that's five hours of watching. Not a lot of people have time to do that. But on Sundays, what I would like to do is release a quick class where I look at some of the best questions or most helpful from the week and then condense it. And I'll talk about what condense means. If you don't know, condense it into 10 minutes of just different topics we talked about for that week. And I will include your questions. I started looking at some I think I have a question from Rod. I have a question from Kareem Jackson, question from Daniel. So it'd just be a nice way to shout out some people who had some great questions. I don't know, I'm thinking of that. Every Sunday, release a, a quick class. Maybe call it, hope that helps. Quick class number one, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, I forgot my water. I forgot my water. I had set up in a couple different places because there were barking dogs. And then there was a guy, my neighbor was digging in his lawn. I didn't want to bother him. So I was a little late in getting here. Uh, yes, to con look at Naima, to condense, using a, a phrasal verb right there, meaning to boil down. Yeah, we have, you probably do too, like condensed soup where you buy it at the grocery store. It comes in a can, but it's super concentrated. It's really boiled down, as Naima said. And then you add water to make it less condensed and so that you could actually eat the soup without <coughs> choking on it. Speaking of choking, I may have to run into the garage for water. Somebody asked about garage. 
And I think I say that a little odd. They said, do you put the silent R in garage? Uh, that's the way I say it. Garage, garage, garage. It's a, it's a tough word to say. They thought it might have come from French. It might actually. Ah, uh, Lilla, yes, yes, you were so nice. Um, you had some nice compliments for my wife. Yeah, um, Jamie, she's sleeping right now, I think. Sometimes she moderates the chat. She's sleeping right now. But yeah, we sometimes go live. It's been a little while. Lilla, you're right. She needs to come back. We have um, summer vacation coming up. I'm on summer vacation. My teaching ended yesterday. You may have seen we went to the beach. I had a nine o'clock meeting. And after that, my principal said, it's a beautiful day. Get out and enjoy it. And my wife and I went to the beach. Uh, her week next week is busy. Lots of meetings. Just like you may have seen Bob the Canadian. His year is ending also. He's super busy. But we will get Jamie in here a couple times this summer. Just because Lilla asked. Just because Lilla wants to see her. <clears throat> Fifth largest com uh, country, Brian says. Brazil. Gleb. Nice to see you. Hope all is going well uh, with your work. You said you watched the post office video yesterday? I think it was yesterday, maybe today. Maybe today your time. And I'm glad to see that you have a day off from the hospital. You don't have to work today, a day off. <clears throat> Uh-oh, so Mary, Daniel, they're talking about a tough. Oh, Hamoud. It's talking about the beard. Yeah, Deekshanch, I don't think he's in here. He's like, you should grow the beard out. So I was like, all right, I will. And uh, Jamie doesn't like the beard so much. So I will probably have to shave soon, soon. <clears throat> my neighbor's dog. You might hear my neighbor's dog. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Hamoud, he's, he's happy for me. Thank you so much for being happy for the new people in here. All right, let me look up for some questions here. <clears throat> Hamoud wants me to make a special video about him, about you. I don't know, I don't know if people will watch that. If you want to see a video about Hamoud, write it in the comments. I came across the skyrocket. Ah, very nice. Yeah, yeah. So Naeem is talking about skyrocket. So often we use that when numbers go really high up. So <clears throat> you might talk about COVID cases. And if they skyrocketed, it's not a good thing. They went up. Uh, it would be great if you were, if your job was selling things and then your sales suddenly skyrocketed. It can be a good or a bad thing, depending on if you want the numbers to go up or not. Nice job, Naima. <clears throat> ah, Rod is wondering, what's the difference between begin and start? No difference, no difference. So I began, there's a little past tense for you. I began this live chat 13 minutes ago. I started this live chat 13 minutes ago. So both in the past tense, same thing, same thing. <clears throat> oh, oh, Dan, Daniel's talking about translating more videos. Hey, I appreciate the subtitles. I think others are helped by it. I think more people will watch my videos if they have subtitles, but I don't want anyone to feel pressure that you have to do it. If it helps you learn English, by all means, do it. You notice how you, by all means, means up to you. Do it, by all means, but don't feel like you have to. I definitely appreciate it. Uh... Lilla, I'm not sure, 1312? Is that, um, 
Something to do with police officers. I don't think so. I don't think so. <clears throat> now, 311, I don't know what it means, but I believe that number has something to do with a police officer. Police officers. You could probably Google it and 311. There is a band named 311. And I don't know where their name came from, but I think it is something to do with police officers. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right. <clears throat> ah. Hamoud, thank you for joining. Menuiel from Germany. Welcome. Welcome. Bibi, how are you? Welcome. Kamil, welcome. <clears throat> Brian, half of Brian's name is Bra. 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 That's the way you say it. Bra. And then also, you know, if you say it differently, Bra is an item of clothing that mostly only women wear. A bra. It, it's, it supports things. Bra. What's up, bra? <clears throat> so Henry is wondering, what does it mean to say, I wouldn't sweat it? I wouldn't sweat it? It means I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, let's say that you... Uh, what? Oh my gosh. What if you, you, you have a mom and... She says, can you pick me up from the doctors at two o'clock? You could say, yeah, don't sweat it. I'll be there. Don't sweat it. I can pick you up. That was an odd example, but that's the first thing that popped in my head, off the top of my head. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. I wouldn't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Oh, Naima. Don't, you don't, she's, she's talking about losing her French accent. Don't lose your accent. Accents are cool. Accents are very cool. French accent, Arabic accent, Brazilian Portuguese accent, German accent, Persian accent. Keep your accent, it's cool. I mean, you want, I've said this before, but you want to be understood, you want to be clear, but don't worry about losing that accent. That will make you unique. All right, so Wilson is wondering about regardless or anyway. Yeah, they're a little different. Um, let's see. Regardless of the weather tomorrow, we will still have a picnic outside. So regardless means literally without regard. So it means don't worry about what is going to happen. So you might say to a loved one, regardless of what you do, I will always love you. Something like that. Anyway, we often throw at the end of a sentence to um, just kind of make it less serious. Um, I was going to go to the store anyway, anyway, meaning I would, maybe somebody wants you to pick up some soup and you could say, oh, I'm, I'm going to the store anyway. I'll pick it up for you. Anyway, just means like, ah, eh, I'm, I was already going there. Um, what else could I use? Mm, anyway, Anyway, and sometimes we put that at the beginning of our sentences to kind of change the topic. And some people do it dramatically. They might say, anyway, I was saying, so anyway is kind of a throwaway word that's very hard to define. All right, Eagle Fly from East Timor has a question about pronunciation. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Oh, so late afternoon. Not too bad, Naima says. Zoe is here. Welcome. Sharef, how are you? Welcome. Oh, Rod, Sao Paulo is an hour ahead. All right. So it's almost noon 
midday. Uh-oh. Mega says no, sir. Talking to me? No, sir. <clears throat> see here oh daniel sent me another banner all right thank you sir thank you sir so that banner that banner that he sent last night was only for uh, youtube and apparently he sent a new one i think he said for other other social media so maybe the facebook page and um there is a link no i don't think i put it sometimes there's a link for the facebook page if anybody wants to join that a couple days ago, I went live, brought in another person. We may do a room in Facebook Live one day where we can bring everybody in and talk. All right, I may be really behind in the chat. I'm sorry if I am. Ah, Gleb is wondering, what's the difference between toss and throw? <clears throat> there... They both mean the same thing, but when you toss something, it's a little more lazy. It's, it's definitely to allow that person to catch something. So, ooh, a remote control for the TV, a phone, your phone. <clears throat> you probably don't want someone to throw your phone at you but you might want them to toss it to you at. Interesting preposition. A lot of times it means more direct. So you could say throw, throw at you. That implies it's a little bit harder. Like you might throw the baseball at somebody. If you throw a rock at somebody, you're trying to hurt them. But you might say, If you want your phone, I don't recommend doing this, but, but hey, could you toss that to me? So toss, it has a little bit of an arc to it. Throw might be more straight. Toss, eh, toss. Good question. <clears throat> All right. East Timor, could I please pronounce, look at this, come on, I can do this for you. Eagles fly. We got this. All the way from my house in Maine in the United States to East Timor. Here we go. Uh, we got feather. We got, ooh, feature. And we got further. Definitely tough. Further. Some people where I live will say father. Father. That's a, a Maine accent for you. But you don't want a main accent. It might confuse people. So feather, birds have feathers. Feather, feature, that might be the main idea of something. Sometimes we call movies the main feature, if there's a short one before it. Feature, and then further. So I can look further in the distance. If I do, I see some trees. Further in the distance. Hope that helps. I, I have to say that now. I have to say that. Hope that helps. <clears throat> um, Mary says, keep your identity. Cecilia is here. Welcome. Oh, so Mary is wondering, what, uh, what does it mean if someone goes off the deep end? It's not a good thing. So we might, we talked about in a live chat I believe yesterday we talked about insanity. <clears throat> if someone is insane, <clears throat> means they've lost their mind. We sometimes say that. Um, maybe they can't have a job anymore. Maybe their brain is not all there. We sometimes say that. So if somebody has gone off the deep end, we definitely should be concerned for them and probably they are having trouble mentally. Uh, a breakdown, I think we've talked about that before too. <clears throat> a mental breakdown. Not good, not good.
Yeah. Rafael from Brazil, welcome. Lots of Brazilians in here. And so I should say, bom dia, bom dia, bom dia. Uh, boa tarde, boa tarde. Even though it's not afternoon yet, I just don't remember the morning. I don't remember morning. Boa tarde, boa tarde. I think that might sound a little too Italian. <clears throat> If you are in Italy, though, I do know Bon Pomeriggio means good afternoon. Um, so, but Rafael is saying you have to get accustomed to uh, a foreign accent in English. And I think that's the good thing about English speakers. We are accustomed or we are used to hearing foreign accents because so many people who are not native to English can speak English. So over the years, our ear has been in tune. I just saw Erroni pop up. Good morning. Even though where he is, I think it's afternoon, right? <clears throat> afternoon, Erroni. Buon pomeriggio, Erroni. Um, we don't say that, Naima, in the United States. I don't know what you would get if you said, if she's asking, if I order an extra hot, what does I, <clears throat> no, no, I don't, that's not something we say in the United States. I'm not sure. And remember hot, bird just flew over my head. Hot means um, two things in at least the United States. I think Canada, England, Australia, hot can be steam coming out, like the coffee. If it's too hot, it will burn your lips. Or we can talk about um, spicy. Spicy can be hot also. So I don't know, Naima. Don't order an extra hot in the United States because I don't know what you would get. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, oh, mega. Okay. She said, no, sir. And I was like, uh oh, did I get in trouble? But no, no, not in trouble. <clears throat> All right, Lilla says, I am fluent in English. I watch movies without subtitles. Nicely done. I watch The Ellen Show. Totally understand. I can sing. I can say jokes. But when it comes to talking, I slow down. Oh, how many people say the same thing, right? How many people say the same thing? So... I have not become fluent in a foreign language yet. I hope to. I am not where you are at in English. I'm not there in Italian. I'm not there yet. But I think it's going to be close for you. I think if you could find a language partner. Lilla, what is your, what is your native language? It would be great. Some people in the Facebook group, I know there are a couple people, have become language partners. And they might not be native English speakers, but there are some really good speakers there. And you might find a language partner. Ideally, the best case would be a native English speaker. But maybe even someone who is very good at English. A lot of people in this chat right now are really good at English. Really good at English. So maybe you could find a language partner. Judith is here. Whoa, 10, 20 p.m. And Judith is from Russia, I believe. We spoke briefly on Instagram Live right before I got on here. Ah, uh, I almost started singing. Michael Jackson, the man in the mirror. I won't. I used to, I used to go. I used to go. I can't I don't know if I can do it. It's a little early in the morning. I don't want everybody to hear me, but I used to do a Michael Jackson impression. But all I could do is, he he, he he, he he does that a little bit. It's a bad, it's a bad impression. But man in the mirror. Um. Wow. I I I don't know what that means, Rod. He's talking about summer disregard. A broken bottle top. I don't know. That's a 
probably very poetic right there. Um, a summer disregard would mean you're just, uh, you don't worry too much about summer. If you disregard it, regard, I believe, comes from the French, meaning to see. And if you put something um, like, if you put dis in front, it means not. Somebody is doing something like mowing their lawn, but it's on the other side. I don't think it'll be too loud for us. So if you disregard summer, it means you don't really care about it, but who doesn't care about that? And a broken bottle top, well, it might mean there's glass there. So I would be a little worried about that, a broken bottle top. I don't know, I, I just haven't heard man in the mirror in a while. I know it's, a, I'm looking, I'm not gonna sing. I'm not gonna sing. I feel like singing though, but I'm not going to. But I'm looking at the man in the mirror. So I know the theme of that song is if you wanna change something, like you be the change. Like when you're looking at the mirror, like right now I'm looking at my camera. If I wanna see change, like me, start with me. Don't blame other people. But I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. Why am I not? Why am I not wearing mask and gloves? Am I trying to influence you? No, I'm not wearing a mask. No. Well, the reason I'm not wearing a mask is the coronavirus is not a real, th it's not that bad anymore. But if you look like there's nobody around me, nobody. Look at that. Who, who, uh, who? Who am I gonna give the coronavirus to? Yeah, no, I definitely don't need to wear gloves or a mask. Uh, if I go into a restaurant, actually, Jamie and I, we went, ate at a restaurant. In my state, there are some parts where you can go inside to eat, but um, not in my area. But we can, we can eat outside at a restaurant. The server, wears a mask, but we don't need a mask at our table. So coronavirus, eh, luckily for now, it's going away, going away. But hey, Hamoud, if you wanna wear a mask, you do you. That's what we say in the United States. You do you, you do you. Meaning if you wanna wear a mask, wear it. I always wear a mask though when I go inside somewhere because if somebody is older, I want them to feel more safe. Naima. Oh yeah. Yeah, we love the French. We I mean, I love the French accent. I think it's very cool. Um, so Riley, welcome. Welcome Riley. I've heard someone say this sentence before. What news have you for me today? Hmm, I don't know if I would say that. I don't know if I'd say it like that. I'd probably say something like this. What news do you have for me today? I would, but maybe someone was trying to be very proper. What news have you for me today? Might be something like that. What news have you for me today? That might be a little British, but as an American, I wouldn't say that. I would say, what news, I would add the do. What news do you have for me today? I would say that. Meaning, what's new in your life? News, what's new? What's new? Comes from that, but what news do you have for me today? Riley, hope that helps. Riley, if you don't mind, in the chat. Uh, where are you from, Riley? Welcome, Deke Shanch is here. I mentioned you earlier. I'm not sure if you were here. I mentioned the beard. You were wondering why don't I have the beard? So I was like, I'll grow the beard. Oh, um, I think I saw Lilla on the screen say she wants me to tell some jokes. Oh, I don't know many jokes, but on that last slang video, I did do a very sad yo mama joke. And you probably shouldn't say yo mama, yo mama. Mm. Ah, ah, 
I don't want to say any jokes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know too many jokes. <laughs> Brian says Michael Jackson is alive. Oh, in your hearts. Oh, okay. In your hearts. I thought he knew something we didn't. Michael Jackson. Brian. Yes, Cecilia. The famous shed is behind me. And it's, it's pretty clean right now. Maybe, maybe we can do a, uh, a tour of the shed later on. Black flies. Black flies. Uh, all right. Somebody wrote in Japanese script. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, thanks for the invitation. Let's turn a candle on night. I know. Okay, I know who this is. All right. Yes, I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. We had a bit of trouble earlier today. I believe, um, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name on Hello Talk, but there was a guy. He was like a, what, 62-year-old guy in the chat, kept asking her for pictures of herself. She's 19. He says he was an American, 62, but the way he was typing, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. So um, I tried to report him, but geez, come on, buddy. Get a life. Get a life. Cecilia wants to create a room to practice. Um, yeah, I think you can do that on the on Facebook. You know, create a room. I tried to, okay, I tried to create a room that day that I went live on Facebook to talk about the red wheelbarrow. But I think what you have to do is you can't create the room immediately. You have to set it in the future, maybe a half hour or something. But I'll, I'll mess around with that a little bit. But if anybody else wants to on the Facebook group, that would be great. And if I can join... I'll join, but if there are a lot of people in there, I would rather not talk. You hear me talk all the time. I would rather listen to you talk, but yeah, let's do that. Maybe sometime this afternoon for us in the Americas, maybe a little bit later for some others. Ah, oh, Lilla. Lilla speaks Arabic and French. So you're from Morocco, I think. I think Morocco or is it Algeria I'm guessing one of the two guessing one of the two um, Mary is wondering what does it mean to be buying uh, buying do you mean buying buying corner store candy interesting that you ask because in about 20 minutes, I have a video premiering about Getaway and I can't remember the other one, but Getaway and Jamie and I actually go to a candy store and I have a quick video of that where they have a lot of corner store candy. Corner store candy is, it used to be when I was a kid, it used to be. It once was about a penny, a piece, or a nickel. So one cent or five cents. Now it's a little more expensive, but I do show a quick video of the candy store Jamie and I went into yesterday when we went to the beach. And we didn't have to wear masks on the beach. It wasn't that busy, but when we went into the candy store, we were wearing masks but the people working at the store were not wearing masks, which was a little strange to me, but. All right, I, I might be a little behind in the chat, so I'm going to skip down, okay? If I missed your question, please ask it again. All right, oh, Morocco. Lila is from Morocco. Ah, oh, Tunisia. Tunisia also speaks Portuguese, speaks Arabic and French. Tunisia, I know the flag, it's red, has a star on it, but Morocco is red with a green star, right? 
Uh, Amina is having trouble pronouncing words with P and B. Give me a couple words. I will, I will pronounce them for you. Give me a couple words. Come on, buddy, get a life. Get a life, Cecilia is saying. Come on, buddy, get a life. Uh, that would be, if someone has gone off the deep end, maybe we might say that to them. Come on, buddy, get a life. Get a life. Oh, she might be talking about that creep, creeper. That, yes, get a life, buddy. Yeah, good call. Good call. We report, I, I couldn't report him. I tried to. Um, I took a screenshot of the chat. I was not in the chat. I took a screenshot, but hello talk. No, uh -oh. am I, I'm, I'm pronouncing Tunisia wrong. Tunisia. Sorry about that. Um, Lilla is saying worn out, tired equals tired. It does. So after a long day at work, you can say, oh, I am worn out. I am beat. I am tired. Uh, Michelle, let's talk about let's talk about connotation here. I'm gonna add shed. So with what Michelle said, a shanty. The connotation for a shanty is often that it's broken down. I wouldn't quite call my shed a shanty. There, there. It is a little old, and you can see the wood. The wood is wearing away. The wood is getting worn. It's wearing away. But a shanty might have the roof collapsed. So we would call this a shed. Small. Let's take a tour. We can take a tour. I made a video. I don't want to be too close on my face. Nobody wants to see that. I made a video um, about spring cleanup. Not too many people watched, but I made a video on spring cleanup. And we went in and I showed my shed. It was a mess. It's better now. It's better now. You, you never know what animals you'll find in the shed, but. Huh, Cecilia, pretty pretty clean, right? It's clean. As I break the door, maybe this is a shanty. I just I just broke the door. All right, maybe it is a shanty, Michelle. Maybe it's a shanty. Close that up. But um, I gotta trim that back. Trim that back. How's that for a phrasal phrasal verb? All right. Oh no, I lost viewers. People didn't want to see the inside of my shed. Sorry, I won't do that again. Just kidding. Somebody probably had to go, probably had to leave. I hope I didn't offend anybody. Knock, knock. Oh, I look awesome with the beard. I need to keep the beard then. I will keep the beard, Lilla. Thank you. Jamie doesn't like it though. Um. Vladimir, how are you, Vladimir? What's the difference between to, to reply, to answer, and to respond? I love questions like this because it's so easy. They all basically mean the same thing. Yeah, let's talk about an email. It's a little, a little crooked here. Let's talk about an email. If you receive the email, you could reply to them. You could answer them or you could respond. Basically the same thing. Look at my broken door. I can't believe I just broke the shed door. The shanty door. It's a shanty now. It's collapsing. All right. Um, Shadef, what is going on? Uh, the hip thing. I don't know what that means, the hip thing, but to buckle down, we often talk about that with studying. So let's think about with English. And maybe you haven't been studying every day, but you have a test coming up 
on Friday and maybe on Wednesday, you say, I need to buckle down. I need to start studying more. I need to start studying better. Buckle down. That means to fix it. Um, let's say with money. And maybe you, you were spending too much money. You might say, I need to buckle down. I can't buy that new dress I want. You need to buckle down. Buckle down. I hope that helps. Ah, Raphael, Raphael. Um, it would be great if you could warn us in the community tab when I create that video. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. I don't know enough about how the rooms work, but if somebody, like I said, if somebody wants to create it, I, w I will create one. Sometimes I like doing it without warning the first time. I did a Zoom meeting a couple, like a month ago. And I remember some people joined, but not too many people joined. So we could test it out. So maybe the first time I won't announce it. I'll just put it on Facebook for anyone who is a member on Facebook. And it's free, totally free. If you want to join the Facebook group, I'll just sneak it in. And then we'll have a couple people and we'll test it out. Tunisia. I will work on my pronunciation for Tunisia. Uh, so Mega is wondering, what do I call the place where I'm at now? Good question. Good question. I would call this my backyard. I would call this my backyard. My fence. I, I had a fence. Where is it? I had a fence that went all around the backyard. But a storm over the winter blew it down. So now I need to replace the fence. It's expensive. But this year, we need to take down a tree. Actually, the video that premieres after this, I was under that tree filming the video. I love that tree, but it was struck by lightning. And so in July, somebody will come take that tree down. And it is expensive to get a tree removed. I believe it is going to cost us about $1,400. Very expensive. So the fence, we might not be able to replace the fence this year. That might be a next year project. All right. Hope that helps. Yes, Aroni. Hope that helps is the new typical American. We, we can't get rid of typical American. We have to keep that. Typical American shanty. Typical American shanty. Typical American backyard. But, yeah, on some of my videos, and I say it for Erroni because he likes it. Typical American. Typical American trash can. Typical American trash can. All right. Oh, somebody has a link to something. Sometimes if you try to post a link on here, it won't allow it at first. I think I can allow it, though. So if somebody has a link to that Facebook room, typical American beard. Yeah, thank you, Cecilia. Typical American. Um, oh, uh, Zabeda. <laughs> I think Zabeda, I think, said that she hopes Jamie doesn't watch this. Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. Dennis is wondering. Oh, SU is saying my garden. We don't use that. That's a British thing. That's a British thing. And I'm not sure how many Americans would know, but a, we call it a backyard because I'm in the back of my house. See my back? I'm in the back of my house. We would call it a front yard if I was in the front of my house. But the British use the term garden. We just, we, we use a garden for if vegetables are growing there. Vegetables are growing there. Dennis, uh, do you have to pay taxes in the US for a dog? No, you don't, you don't. But 
if the dog is one of those dogs that are more vicious, like a pit bull, you do have to pay more for insurance. I don't know exactly how it works. Some apartments will not allow pit bulls. Um, some apartments won't allow dogs. So it just depends on where you live. But taxes for a dog, no, no. Yeah, Cecilia, I, I have to fix the door. I'm gonna leave it for a while though. Typical broken door. Typical American broken door. That doesn't work. Typical American. All right. Um, yes, Lilla, we do have a Facebook page. We, a lot of people in here, I started it, but it's not mine. Um, there are links on other Facebook, uh, other live streams. I don't think I put it on here though. So, if I was a really good YouTuber, I could. I might be able to do it, but I still want to answer some questions too. Let's see, oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Not. It might not take too long. Um, but now I can't see the questions. Oh, Mary, could you please talk about uh, alpha male? Yeah, I can talk about alpha male. It's probably not a good thing. Alpha male, alpha comes from the letter A. I believe it's Greek, right? Alpha, beta. Alpha is like the top dog, the top male. And a lot of times they're overbearing. They're not very nice. The alpha male tries to keep other people down. Just like in the animal kingdom, you might have like gorillas. They have an alpha male, like the leader. So... Oftentimes, I'll actually give you a term that we use sometimes. That's the Facebook link, I believe. Um, but if, uh, if a male is trying to be like too much of a man, like make, you know, the, the woman should cook, the woman should do the dishes, we sometimes call that toxic masculinity. So alpha male, Alpha female would be the top, the top. And then we also might have beta, meaning those people below them, below. I do not hang out with alpha males. But very competitive. Tomorrow is Sunday for sure. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, Daniel. Daniel has a joke. Did you guys read it? Here's the joke. Why was the number six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Get it? Because seven, eight, nine. Tricky. Tricky one there, Daniel. Nicely done. Yeah, Mary says that uh, Mary says that uh, we have a great community. The Facebook page. I put on the Facebook page that Mary had put some uh, put a video with Persian subtitles, but I couldn't tag Mary. You need to join Facebook again. We miss you, Mary. We miss you. We miss you. Oh, Naima. It's correct. You're right. Do I do I pronounce Tunisia like native? That would be awesome if I did. Uh, shady, slim, slim, shady. So Rod is wondering. I did mention Eminem, Stan. If you're a real fan of a band, they might call you a Stan. You could use it as a verb. I stand for that band. I'm a Stan for that band. Shady means someone who is uh, like that man, Hello Talk, who is asking 19-year-old girls for pictures of themselves. We call that shady. Shady. If you think someone might steal something, if they're kind of lurking in the corner of a store, just kind of lurking, watching people, 
not buying anything, you might think, ah, that's a little shady. And maybe he called himself slim because he wasn't big, slim shady. Ah, uh, Eagles Eagle Fly is talking about grammar. Grammar. That you don't have to focus on grammar to learn a language. I've spoken about this guy before. I'm not an expert in this, but Steve Kaufman, I believe, is. And the way he learns languages is lots of listening and lots of reading. He does not focus on the grammar. The idea is that if you do a lot of reading and a lot of listening, your brain will just pick up on the grammar. You will just realize that the verb get, present tense, will become got in the past tense if you listen a lot. That's the idea. That's what I'm trying to do with my Italian, spend very little time on the grammar, but I will have to wait a couple years to let you know if it works. All right, Gleb, he's assuming that I'm going to fix that door and he wants me to make a video on me fixing the door. I'm, I'm not really good at that, <coughs> excuse me. It may be more of a comedy video because I don't know how I'm going to fix that door. The problem is the wood is, is rotten. We, we say that the wood is rotten when it's old. It's been wet. So, I don't know. But uh, I don't know if I dare make a video about fixing the door. Might be, it might be bad. Might be bad. <laughs> Michelle says that my shed, you didn't offend me. You didn't offend me, don't worry, don't worry. Um, that my shed looks better than his room. I've been working with 13 and 14 year olds for almost 20 years. Nothing offends me. I, I cannot be offended, Michelle. So don't worry, don't worry. It's all, it's all good, it's all good. Yeah, Daniel. We do also use rotten when food goes bad. Food goes bad. Um, Nikita is asking, somebody asked about tools also, wanted me to do a video on tools. Let's, let's go into the shed for a second. Let's see if I can break the other door. Uh, we'll go into, let's see, if I, let's see if I have any tools in here. Uh oh, I'm losing viewers. I'm losing viewers by going into the shed. Uh, I have this tool right here. This is file. This is called a wood file and you can take it file. Sometimes All right, we talked about file. We talked about file not long ago, meaning to organize. But we actually have another way to use file. Ibrahim, how are you? I'm not gonna do this to my fingernails, but if you file them with a nail file, it means to remove parts slowly. So this is a wood file. If you want to just shave, another verb there. If you just wanna shave off a little piece of the wood, you could do that. So, hope that helps. I just went over a couple different verbs there quickly. So, file and shave. So yes, I can shave my beard, but I could shave off a little bit of wood. You can also shave off some ice. We have a treat in the summer called shaved ice. And that is when you take a big block of ice, shave it off, put it in a cup, and then put uh, syrup or 
sugary liquid all over it. Get rid of the file. Um, is it 11? Yes. I need to go that uh, long. Way. Get along and get away. Um, Nikita, if you are good with tools, we would call them handy. So if somebody, I'm not handy, but if you say, oh, Brent, that guy's handy, that would mean that I can fix a lot of things around my house. All right, I gotta go. Naima, always give me the flowers at the end. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I'm gonna, I'll put a link to that video. And uh, I always love this hour. It's a lot of fun connecting with all of you. If you do a room, I'll be on the lookout for that in Facebook. But thank you all for joining. Get, get out of here. And then I'm gonna try to watch that video with you. Jamie appears very briefly, very briefly. Thank you guys so much. Always fun, Gleb, thank you. Lilla, thank you for joining. I'll see you all later. Hasta